Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to rotoscope using HitFilm Express. Alright, so rotoscoping in HitFilm Express is actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Um, it's very similar to uh, masking, only you're actually going to be animating your masks. And so let's go ahead and pull in some of the, actually all of the assets that we're going to be using. It's just um, a couple different clips. Now that we've got our assets in, we can actually just go ahead and play these. The very first one, our background is going to be just this nice, simple little mountain scene. So we're actually going to have a helicopter fly into the mountains. Um, it is a little, little choppy, of course, on the viewer. Um, it'll be really nice looking when it's all done and rendered. First and foremost, we need to go and make a composite shot. We're going to name this Chopper. We're actually going to cut this down to about 10 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our background. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a mask around this little mountain in the in the foreground, Okay. Um, because what's going to happen is that helicopter is going to fly away from the camera and actually go, we want that to go behind that mountain. Okay, we want it to disappear behind it. So let's go ahead and control D and we're going to actually duplicate that. Um, the bottom one is going to be our background and the foreground and the top one is actually going to be our foreground. So we're just duplicating those two backgrounds. That way we can um, rotoscope this this front. And rotoscope is just a fancy term for an animated mask. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our freehand mask tool. And we're going to just go ahead and zoom in and just create a mask around this mountain here. It doesn't have to be terribly accurate because it is going to be moving and so um, we can always feather the mask a little bit to give it um, a little bit softer edges. So let's go ahead and just run a mask all the way around this. All right, now that we've got that masked, we're going to go ahead and lead it by bringing the first and last together. <clears throat> and of course, since we duplicated these, you're not going to see any change. But if we turn the background off, you can see that we've um, now created a mask in the foreground. If we go ahead and play through this, you can see, of course, that mask sits stationary. But what we want to do is we actually want this mask to follow this mountain. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and back to the very beginning. You can keep the uh, the background turned on just to give you kind of a reference on where things are. And so let's go ahead and highlight our mask. And we're actually going to go into our controls, drop down our mask, and then our transform. And we're going to want to... Um, keyframe its position and its path okay so every single time that you add a keyframe and of course it's going to um or excuse me every time that you change its position or the path nodes you'll notice that it will um put a keyframe down that way hit film express knows what position that you want that point at what specific time in your timeline let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and we're just going to go and <clears throat> track through this a few frames at a time. It doesn't need to be, you know, every single frame. Um, if you're doing something that's really close to the camera, really something that's, you know, like hands waving in front of something, then you do want to do every two or three frames or every other frame and to move each in the, each individual node, okay? Um, and that's just why we've actually checked the path because if we check the position, you're not going to be able to change the shape of the mask, just its position. So we went ahead and um, keyframe the, or the path too. We grab our select tool we can actually move this mask where we need it now if you were wanting to change any of the nodes while you're doing this you're going to have to go back to the freehand mask tool that way you can manipulate each individual node as you go through um frame by frame but for this one we're just going to be um just moving the mask and just adjusting these nodes very minimally so Let's go back to our selection tool so we can move the whole thing. Okay, now that we've gotten to this point, we're actually not done completely. But as, I, as you can see, if we run down here, this mask has actually come up away from the ground. Um, we can't pull the whole shape down because you can see this top here. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to highlight these particular masks and drag those those these particular points and drag those in the mask down a little bit that way they're a little closer to that mountain face um, and that's why at the very beginning I um, 
keyframe the path as long uh, along with um, the position of the mask. That way we we can change these nodes as we need to. Okay, so we've got this all masked off and our rotoscope is now done. We actually can um, go back and turn the background image off. And as you can see, if we play through this, <clears throat> there is a little bit of um, variation in the edge of that mask because I didn't go through you know, every single frame. Now remember, the more accurate the mask and the more accurate each one of those nodes is, the better your mask is gonna look, okay? So let's go ahead and go into our mask in our control panel. We're gonna go to shape. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit and um, let's go ahead and move go ahead and move this on the timeline so we can see some some light edges and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to we're actually going to feather in okay and then change the expansion eh, do it about 10 pixels 10 pixels will give us a nice smooth edge something that's not so um, you know clear and cut you're gonna see it in your final in your final render you go ahead and turn the background off or on rather and um, we can now see that it doesn't follow it as accurate as we would like but of course you know the processing the viewer is going to be a little slow as opposed to its render so let's go ahead and bring in our um, our helicopter and I got this from Footage Crate. Um, I highly recommend this video of by no means sponsored by them. I just love their stuff over there at Footage Crate. They've got a lot of sound effects. They've got a lot of visual effects. They even have 3D models if you have HitFilm Pro and you want to dive into some 3D modeling and um, that kind of thing. Definitely hit, the, hit that uh, site up and check it out. I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, so let's go ahead and bring this bad boy in. We're actually going to drag this up above our... Um, above our background but below our foreground picture and so let's go ahead and just kind of play through this a little bit and as you can see he kind of snakes behind there we're going to go ahead and turn off our foreground because towards the end of this i want that helicopter to be behind to be behind that mountain so we can actually go ahead and move him just like that so towards the end he'll fly through it all right, so now that we've got everything positioned, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our foreground again. Um, I'm actually gonna cut this footage just a little short because we don't need to render this whole thing. Um, and so we're gonna cut it just about right there. Make sure our foreground and our background are all the same. Go ahead and scale to fit, and let's go ahead and export it, and we'll see how it looks once we're, at, we're once it's done exporting. Okay, now that we've got this added to our export queue, you can actually see that uh, HitFilm Express 14 has changed it a little bit in the way its workspaces are set up. If you um, go ahead and hit export and go try to go into the export menu or the export workspace, it'll actually keep you in your default workspace. It'll just add a new export panel, so things are a little bit more streamlined. You don't have to change um, your workspace around to get to the export everything is is right here on the same window so let's go ahead and um, export this all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this little five second clip it actually looks pretty good yep our masks are okay um, as you can see we don't have you know this nice sharp transition between the foreground and the background so it looks like it's very natural um, the one thing that I do notice is this little tree right here. We actually missed that in the mask. So if you see this little helicopter going behind that, that tree disappears because it actually goes in the front. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios. As always, please hit that subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss out on anything else here on the studio. And we will see you guys next time.